hello guys welcome to my youtube channel programming hub today we are all going to see the program on the topic related to find out the simple interest okay as you can see on your screen program here i have already opened a written a program which is going to calculate the simple interest of whatever principal amount, principal amount rate of interest or tenure you are going to enter in your system okay so as a first line says it is a comment line so that any another person who uses the program can understand on what top on what exactly topic the program is all about so the comment line here says that program to find the simple interest okay after that after that there are two library functions hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h so these both are the library functions after that our void main here i have written void because i do not write any return type value and after main the their back the brackets are empty because they i do not pass any argument inside them okay then opening curly brace after that i have written float function i have used the float data type to form my variable p r i here p stands for the principal amount r stands for rate of interest and i oh yeah i stands for simple interest okay now i have written int and n stands for tenure number of years okay so why i have used p r i in float and n in int because n is the number of years it cannot be in point so it is in the integral form only but principal amount principal amount is also in the form of integer only but i have used here the float that i have to get the precise value okay and rate of interest is might be in the float format means in the decimal format or in the integral format and interest whatever interest we are going to get is always might be going to be in the decimal format or in the integral format so so for the better precision value i have used pri in the float data type and n in the int i can use n in the float data type but there is no need of that that's why i do not do that okay after the third statement is clear screen you all know about the clear screen statement this will clear the previous information previous output whatever you are going to see in the output section okay if you do not write the clear screen command then at the, then after you run 10 or 20 times program your program become messy in the output section all the results are going to be shown combined okay so be and to make a habit of writing clear screen in your program always okay after that fourth statement is print screen here inside the printf statement i have passed the statement enter the principal amount equal to okay and then scan f and p percentage f and p okay so the system asks the user in the output section to write the principal amount okay that's the that's the only use of scanf function so that we can write the value in the output section okay after that second so in the printf enter the rate of interest whatever rate of interest is where you are going to apply to find our simple interest okay after that scanf for capital r means you have to write the value of capital r mean rate of interest in the output section or by the user okay after that the third statement here is printf enter the time period in years which is scanf percentage d and n here i have written percentage d because because i have passed the n variable in the int data type okay that's why i have written n in the with the percentage d format after that i is equal to i have written here the formula of the simple interest i is equal to in the bracket p r n divide by 100 this is the only general formula of finding the simple interest we all know okay after that the statement of output result that is printf inside the printf statement simple interest is equal to percentage f 
is equal comma i then semicolon at the end of every statement then get ph and closing curly base here i have write, written the percentage f because i have passed the i variable into the float data type as you can see on the screen at the top this okay that's why i have used here percentage f but and you do not have to write here you do not have to write and here and i because it is a printf statement it is going to give the output whenever we are going to give the input in the output section then and then only you we can use and and in the scanf function as you can see on this screen scanf percentage f and p that's why but in the printf section as we want the output from the system that's why i have that's why we do not write and with variable that's why in the printf section we do not write and any variable okay so i have written this printf for the output function now i am going to just run this program the shortcut fee for running the program is control f9 if there is any error your program is not going to run it shows the error after you solving the error then you can easily run your program and get the output like this only okay here the system first of all asks me enter the principal amount so i just write here 10 lakh for the sake of ease purpose okay yeah okay it's uh, one lakh, 10 lakh after that i press enter then it asks me the rate of interest for the sake of simplicity i write the rate of interest as 10 percent okay here all are in percentage automatically so we do not have to write percentage symbol we just have to write the numeric value 10 which is means to 10 percent only then i press enter then here system asks me to enter the time period in years so for the sake of simplicity i just write 10 years okay then i just calculate this by pressing the enter and we have got the result is his simple interest is equal to this means p r n divided by 100 10 like simple interest okay so after pressing when we press the enter we are coming out from the output section and that's our whole program how to calculate the simple interest using the c program this is how you make the calculator which is going to calculate the simple interest in the c programming language or in the turbo c software by using the simple c language okay guys thank you for all thank you guys for listening to my videos and my lecture series so like subscribe and share